So what I have done so far is I've taken my fabric and you should have about a yard and a quarter um, of a cotton or a cotton blend or you could use a flannel and you're going to fold it with the right sides together and you'll have your selvages lined up on this end. So my selvages are over here, my fold is over on this side and we're gonna start laying out the pattern pieces. Um, so I've already got the pattern cut out and ready. This is a two pattern piece project and I'm going to start from the top of uh, the fabric up here and I'm going to get as close to the folded close to the selvage edge sorry close to the selvage edge as I can um, and before I lay out my second piece I want to make sure that I have the hem right where it needs to be and I have to make sure that my grain lines are in line. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, grab my pins and I'm also going to t uh, use a uh, tape measure to measure the green line. Okay. So you want to make sure you have your selvages perfectly lined up over here and then you're going to take your tape measure from the green line arrow over to the selvage and just kind of with your finger, you can mark this is um, eight and one eighth of an inch. And so down here, it is also eight and one eighth of an inch. So we are right where we need to be. So that means that the grain line right here is parallel with the selvage. So that's exactly what we want. The next thing we need to do is we need to look at um, the inseam right here. This pattern that I'm using has a six and a half inch inseam. Um, but that's before hemming. I like to have a little bit of a wide hem. So for me, this is gonna be a perfect fit. But let's say you have one of the other patterns that has a really long leg. So right here, instead of the pattern ending, it goes all the way down. Instead of cutting the pattern piece, what I would like you to do is for you to fold the pattern piece up and then you'll measure it, how much you're folding over here and you'll measure it over there. And so let's say you're wanting to reduce your um, inseam by two inches, you would fold this up two inches um, and then you would go ahead and pin it and then you'll do the same thing to your other pattern piece. Because I'm gonna leave mine the same, I'm just gonna unfold that and um, then I'm gonna go ahead and start pinning my pattern piece in place. When you are pinning a pattern, you wanna make sure that your pins are going in uh, parallel to the pattern edge because you want to be able to get your shears around there and if you do not have um, the pins in parallel then it's going to give you some trouble trying to cut it out so you'll just put your pins in and they come all the way out so they go through all the layers so they're going through two layers of fabric and then back up through the top of the pattern piece and what I like to do is I just continue to kind of smooth it out Another thing that I did before I even started was I used the iron and I pressed my pattern to get some of the wrinkles out of it because um, when they're folded up in those envelopes they do get pretty wrinkly. Um, and this one's been used a lot of times so it's it was pretty wrinkled up so I just pressed it with a hot iron and it comes out just fine. Um, Alright so we just pin in all the way around and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay down my second piece. Now you want to look at your pattern instructions for um, a project to see how the pieces are supposed to be laid out. Um, for both of these, it asked for the fabric to be folded right sides together, but then for the pattern piece itself to be right side up. So sometimes you will see on uh, instructions for the pattern piece itself to be flipped over and uh, other times you see uh, where it wants to be on the fold. For this time, we're cutting closest to the selvage edge just so we have as little um, waste as possible. Um, so all this fabric over here on this side that's next to the fold, that's gonna be a bigger scrap piece later on. So I'm gonna repeat what I did on the first piece down here. I'm gonna measure from the grain line over to the selvage, and then I'm gonna pin that pattern in place. So once you have your pattern pieces pinned down, you are ready to cut them out. You want a nice sharp pair of sewing shears and you will remain standing so you'll leave your pattern laid out on a tabletop and you'll want to stand up over it so that you're not um, moving the fabric. 
too much. Basically what I mean there is sometimes kids want to sit down at their seat and hold their fabric on their lap uh, to cut it and we don't want to do that. So you want to remain standing. When you get to a place that has these triangle notches, so in this particular pattern, which I didn't cut this pattern out, it was already cut from a long time ago, the notches are cut in, but when I'm cutting out my fabric, I want to cut away. Here, let me show you, I'll get down to the other end. I know it's hard to see in a video sometimes. So when you get to those notches, the notches are the areas that you'll line up so when you're looking to line up two pattern pieces um, so they meet perfectly, okay, so you want them to line up later. Uh, so right here at the notches, I'm going to cut out at an angle. There's two notches side by side, so I usually just cut them as one and I cut straight across and then I angle, angle down. So now you have this little piece that sticks out right there and so that is a notch. Because I'm cutting through two layers of fabric, it's gonna be cutting that notch off or, or sticking out on, on two sides. Okay. So I'm gonna to continue to cut my pattern out. And when I get to each one of those triangle notches, I'm gonna make sure that I cut out around them and I do not cut into the fabric and I do not cut those triangles off. And I'm gonna do that with uh, both of my pattern pieces. All right, so I'm all done cutting out that pattern. Um, one thing, if you're in my class, I want you to go through your fabric and if there's little chunks like this that are hanging off, just little strips, you'll cut those. And um, you, if they're really small like this, you could throw them away um, unless you have something else that you're wanting to use them for. And then these bigger pieces, you're gonna fold up um, Just kind of fold them up and these these bigger pieces and we'll keep those and use those for other projects so I'll have some kind of box or something in the classroom for you to store those in and these little pieces you'll just throw those away